<laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21, a lot of talk has been going around about the 6'8 point guard. It's going to be somewhere between Magic and Giannis, Magic 6'9, Giannis 6'7. We're going to let them cap out right in between. And a lot of people are wondering, how is it going to be? Is it going to be bad? Is it going to be broken? I'm here to tell you, it's already in the game, and we're going to talk about it right after the intro. Lino! If you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me upset. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that head. Alright, so as you can see, man, to understand one is to understand the other, we're going to begin with the 652 way slashing playmaker that my boy T Mizzle made. Man, this bill right here is a monster. It's a goat. No lie, it can literally do everything. And the reason that we're beginning here is because I want to get, I want to kind of put them against each other, right? And let you see what they can do firsthand on the screen. Right here, this is me, Anonymous, and, and my guy T Mizzle, who actually created the bill. We're just gonna go over the stats right here, man. Look, uh, shot close, 81. Driving layup, 82. Driving dunk, he gets the 87. Then you go down to the shooting. The shooting caps out at uh what 75, a 60, a 69 three-pointer. Uh free throw and all this stuff we're not really worried about. Dribbling is 87. Uh pass accuracy is 82. And then you know, we put the the way that we built it, we put the interior defense up. Uh, we put the perimeter defense up, obviously, lateral quickness, all this good stuff. You can see it right here on the screen. We're gonna run out, we're gonna jump right here just really so you can see it really quickly. And then we're going to compare this to the one that Brutal Sim made, which is the six the six eight play glass. This is literally the same build. It's it's the same thing. Everything is damn near the same except for he has a lower starting three point shot. Now this shot gets up to like 69 to 70 or something like that, but it really just depends on how you play the game. We're gonna talk more about this build later and we're gonna show it to you in action, but I'm just here to tell you, it's not something to really be that afraid of a lot of people thinking well you know they're gonna have a six eight they're gonna have six eight point guards in the game it's gonna be broken people aren't gonna know what to do we're not eh, eh, we're not gonna be able to defend it how are we gonna play defense all this stuff listen my guy black rob made one of these and came out here and absolutely embarrassed one of my centers in the beginning of the, I mean, uh, like midway through the year he's the first person i actually saw with the play glass and he came out and straight embarrassed one of my centers Center couldn't stay in front of him. The center couldn't do anything with him. The, like he was matched up on the center, came out 6'8, boom, 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 just killed him. But the thing is, as a point guard, I really don't know how this thing works. I sit here and I play, like, like, look at this. You look, you see T Miller, you see how fast he is. Do you see his speed and all of that stuff? Speed is 95 right now, right? When he maxes out, his speed is a 99. He gets 99 speed at 95, right? Conversely, Brutal Sims Bill, he gets what? Uh, 88 speed at 90 at 95, and then it gets up to like 92. That's a significant difference. It's not something that you're gonna just be able to completely exploit. The shooting isn't that great. The dribbling, the dribbling isn't that great. None, nothing, nothing here just screams out, hey, this is gonna be something that's gonna be super cheesy and easy to use. Now I understand that. I understand that the the build that Brutal Sim made is at the power forward, but it still has a playmaking pie chart. The point that I'm trying to make is, even though this build is set up at the power forward, it's still 6'8", it still has a uh, playmaking takeover, it still does all of this stuff, man, but you'll get to see him play in a little bit. The main thing that we're focusing on right here is what T Mizzle is able to do. He's got the, he's got, he's able to dribble the ball, do anything he wants to, shoot the ball. He dribbles like a point guard. That's the most important thing. He dribbles like a point guard. He shoots like a point guard. He can defend like a point guard. He does everything just like a point guard because why? He is a point guard and he's under the certain height threshold because we all know that as soon as you put your, your attributes up uh, to what, 6'6", six, six, something like that, we just completely lose him. And I think you can cap out at 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, on here. But the thing is, you can make a a shooting guard and i think the shooting guard caps out of six 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 eight or even small forward you can make them they don't have the stats 
to be run at the primary point guard. You just, you're just not gonna have him. You'll be able to play point guard. You'll be able to do some things, but like to be honest, with the stats that that we are gonna be given at this, you just don't have it unless you're a very, very good player. You're not gonna have the stats to be able to just be like, hey, this is gonna be super easy, super cheesy. I'm gonna be out there just, just killing people, uh, you know, because I am, because I am that guy. Unless you are that guy, you're gonna have to be very good. This is not something that a bum is just gonna be able to just take over and and be able to dominate with these stats. That's what I'm trying to push to people. A lot of people just thinking, hey, I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna get in the game, baby. I'm gonna have a 6'8 and I'm just gonna kill and I'm gonna kill. Look, did y'all see Joe Knows' videos? Do y'all realize that Joe Knows is better than a lot of people that play this game? He plays the game, he's understood what his build is, what his build can do, all of those things. The same thing with Brutus Sims. He has, we've sat here ad nauseum and gone over this build thought about it, looked at it, saw what it can do, see what it can't do. He's very, very, very aware of his builds and what he needs to do in order to try to be good at the game. Like, you're not just gonna come out here and dribble like T. Mizzle and do stuff like that. It's just not going to happen. Now you look at T. Mizzle right here. We came out, flooded these guys. I mean, they weren't that good anyway, but anyway, T. Way, T. Mizzle running the, two, running the point guard position, two-way slashing playmaker, He's able to, like I said, 99 speed, everything. He goes 50% from three, uh, scores 14 points, six out of eight shooting. Now we're gonna switch over here to Brutal Sim on the scene, wicked and mean. And while that's loading up, like I said, we're gonna take another look at his stats. Do you think you're going to be comfortable playing the game with 84 speed, maxing out at 92? A lot of people in the comments probably gonna be like, yeah, I can do that, man, because, because uh, you know, that's what I do. And now, like I said, we hopping over here He's power forward, he's matched up at the two. The biggest thing that I wanted to tell people is, with these statistics, yes, you can come out there and you are going to be able to cook centers with these statistics. My argument is, at 6'8", with Brutus Sim out here cooking guards at 6'8", like he's lined up at guard out here cooking people. Look at that, you gonna have, look at that, it's, it's so cheesy, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie and say that this BLA ain't cheesy with the J.R. Smith trays up, splash down. It is cheesy. It is easy. You do get a lot of advantages. But what y'all gotta realize is Brutus has been essentially running this bill for the last three years. He always makes a point forward when we play the game. This was just a way for him to make the point forward. And the thing is, if you are a guard going against this bill at 6'8 with his dribbling moves, you can you can lock this up. He can, you can actually make it to where he can't even dribble the ball. The reason that Brute is able to do what he does is because he's better than most people at the game. That's just point blank period. And he can also make up for my mistakes. He can get rebounds and stuff like that. But the thing is, look, he can manhandle you inside. He's very aware of what the bill can do and what the bill cannot do. You're not just gonna come out here with these stats and be shooting from three lights out. You're not gonna, you, you will be going to the hole. Look at look at the hit that you're taking in the driving layup and the driving dunk. Everything goes down. T. Mizzle got 87 and 82. Brute got 75 and 80. You're gonna take a tremendous hit because they've taken great strides to doing this. Now I understand some people are saying, well, you know, with them lined up at point guard, they're probably gonna give them better stats and stuff. I don't think so because they've always, I mean, look at the point guards right now. They always go over and make you take a hit on all of these stats. They always do. Even with the regular point guards right now, you go, like I said, you go 6'6", you take a big hit. You go to a shooting guard and, and you go 6'7", you take a big hit on the stats. It's just like they, won't, they don't want tall players to be able to play. So me applying that same logic, I'm thinking that in 2K21, you're gonna have similar stats, but it's not gonna be something that where you're just gonna be able to just straight dominate. Like I said, Brutus Sim says when he plays this game and he's got the uh, he's got this build that he has right now, his sole purpose is to keep you from touching him. So when you try to come touch him, he's gonna go the other way. He's crafty enough with the basketball that with the 70 ball handle and I get 75 when you max out with the 75, he can do this stuff. He can make it look like he can throw bad passes like like that or whatever but like i said the way he built it you can he can do this stuff and if you want to see this bill you need to go to his channel go to t mills's channel i'll leave the, the the video to these bills down in the thing but if you want to be able to do these things you got to be really good at the game if you can't dribble with a point guard 
with a 70 dribble, then you're not gonna be able to dribble with a power forward with a 70 dribble. It's just not going to happen. So you have to come out and be mindful of that. Think of how good you are at the game. Think of your skill level. Think of the average person that plays this game skill level. They're not as good, as, they're probably not as good as you are because you're actually watching these videos and you, you watching the top 95 center in the game play this game, number one. But number two, most people aren't really that good. They wanna go with the easiest and cheesiest build. How many play glasses did y'all see out there this year? I didn't see many play glasses. And the ones that I did see, they were really good at the game, they, or they were either really good or really bad. So they either tried to ISO the center, and then uh, and that's how they looked like they were better, or they just came in and they played, you know what I'm saying, or they played uh, the point guard position, and then they got destroyed. Now for us, the reason that I know that the play glass is not super dominant is because we just put a guard on the play glass. Whoever the play glass, like we're not gonna let him ISO our center. You come out, if you're letting him ISO your center, then you asking to lose or you're just not on the team and then you wanna fuss at the center and be like, hey, you don't have, you know, you, you don't got to get defense, blah, blah, this and that. But the truth of the matter is, if you're letting that 6'8 play glass ISO your center, you're looking to lose. I guarantee every team that plays this game, instead of letting him ISO their center, they say, hey, center, go stand in the corner on the guy because the only way it works is with ISO. So inevitably, two people are going to be standing in the corner. You put your point guard on that play glass, he's not as effective. Now, he might get by him sometimes and go to the rim and, and do a couple of layups and stuff like that, but he's not going to be super effective. Also, one thing I wanted to point out is both of these guys, I know I was supposed to talk about the jump shot. Both guys are using jump shot 38 raw with with uh, silver, with silver, um, silver quick draw both of them are using it that's why i use them because they they are literally the exact same bill they got all of the same stuff but it's just the stats when you when you change them up a little bit uh when you change them up a little bit the stats are a little bit different and look brute eight points uh you know three assists all that stuff all the rebounding and all that good stuff the whole point that i'm trying to make here is it is a good bill i'm not gonna lie but it is not in any way overpowered you're not gonna see people using it like that and i guarantee it's not gonna be as strong as people want to try to say it is i know that people want to try to say it's gonna break the game it's gonna do this and do that 2k got more sense than that i really believe that at the end of the day this bill is gonna be much more like the 6-8 play glass than it's gonna be like the 6-5 two-way uh, two slash and playmaker. That's all I gotta say. Y'all let me know down in the comments what y'all think, man. Uh, did you use one? Did y'all use one? Can't that, that that stuff can be locked up by a, by a guard, man. Let's just be real. You put a lock on him or put a half lock on him, he's not dribbling the ball like that. He's gonna pick the ball up a lot. And me and Brute even talked about it on the phone yesterday. He's like, yeah, it ain't, it ain't that strong. I'm just really good. I'm really crafty with the basketball. I know what I'm doing. And I agree with him on that. But as you can see, you got somebody good on him. Um, Brute always say, hey, look, I gotta pass the ball. I gotta, I can't, he's like, he'll even tell us some games. I gotta lock on me. I can't let him touch me this game because he's gonna make me pick the ball up, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, man, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do you think it's gonna be super dominant? Do you think this build right here is gonna be be super crazy? Do you think it's even halfway as good as the play glass, or is it only as good? I mean, I'm uh, as the uh, two-way slash and playmaker, or is it only this good because most of the time they line up on centers and um, you know they just get to abuse the center. Now, brute lines up on guards and abuses guards, so I give him mad credit. But most people that I see do it, they line up on centers and they just abuse centers and they don't have foot speed to speak of, and most centers don't even have uh, clamps, so they can't even make you pick the ball up. Put somebody on with, with Hall of Fame clamps on this guy, he gonna pick the ball up almost every time, man, unless it's Brute, cause like I said, he's just crafty enough to keep you away from him. I'm out of y'all next time, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comments and we, until next time, it's your boy Jay Easy, AKA Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Hey! Commence. It don't make cash and it don't make sense Cause we can't pay rent with no one's opinion So in that sense, I never value your two cents Hey, darn, please leave that bullshit you speak at the barn Cause I ain't buying I'm only 5'8", that's fine, nigga I can give a heart transplant to a giant I ain't lying, Godspeed We good